I have OCD. I was diagnosed with OCD when I was 11. Neil Hilborn has obsessive compulsive disorder, and he wrote a poem about dating with OCD. When you have obsessive compulsive disorder, you don't really get quiet moments. Even in bed, I'm thinking, they're locked door yet, the wash man's yet, locked door yet, the wash man's yet. So when I saw her, the only thing I could think about was the hairpin curve of her lips or the eyelash on her cheek. The eyelash on her cheek. The eyelash on her cheek. I knew I had to talk to her. He wrote the poem in 2010. The inspiration? I, I'd always kind of struggled to, to really relate my experience with, with that particular disorder. I finally figured it out, like, with this, with this one relationship. I was like, oh, this is saying everything I've been, I've been trying to say about having OCD. I asked her about six times in 30 seconds. She said yes after the third one, but none of them felt right, so I had to keep going. On our first date, I spent more time organizing my meal by color than I did eating, than talking to her, but she loved it. The poem went viral, not once, but twice. First in 2013, after it was shared on Reddit. And again in 2017, when it generated 43 million views. I'm always surprised at just the overwhelming support. I think that's the main thing I've seen is um, people approach it with a, with a willingness to, to have their opinions changed and to, to learn from that poem. Neil has performed OCD hundreds of times in the past six years. Usually, when I obsess over things, I see germs sneaking into my skin. I see myself crushed by an endless succession of cars. She was the first beautiful thing I ever got stuck on. The poem is still touching people, although the relationship ended years ago. So when I first started performing the poem, it was very real. I was like, oh no, my life is falling apart, I have to do this poem. You know, that relationship's over, it's been over for a while, um, and I don't... I'm not feeling broken up about it anymore, um, but I still, I still feel like it's important, so I still f try to put new importance into it every time I do it. The thing that I'd like people to take most from it um, is that as long as you're telling your story in a, in a genuine and honest way, I think people are always going to respect that. I want her back so bad. I leave the door unlocked. Mm. I leave the lights on. Mm.